All right, this is number three of this shit, and uh, we are getting cobblestone, which is exciting. Uh, and a little bit of diorite, I guess, just because it's in the way. Uh, we're trying to get, like, a stack of cobbler, so I don't, I don't really know. I, I should probably get more. I should probably get more. I should probably get, like, two stacks. I should probably get three stacks, because I have an idea for kind of a first project I want to start on. I'm uh, probably going to want three stacks of cobbles. So we're going to stay down here a little bit. We're going to grind away. Um, we're definitely going to need to make more inventory space, but, you know, that's not a real problem, is it? I'm just going to ditch some flowers. I'm, I'm, I have a very dirty inventory right now. I need to make it clean and pure. Um, I don't need diorite or anything, but I'm just going to pick it up just because it's here. And, you know, the polished variants don't look that bad with the 1.14 textures. I haven't really used them that much since the update, even though it's been out for, like, ten years now, but... Um, I still just haven't gotten used to the using polished stones. I'm just so used to the stone variants looking like absolute hot garbage that I've not even considered that they can actually be used now. To an, with an uh, extent, of course. They're not like miracle blocks, but they have their place. Like polished diorite makes really good like tile flooring and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to keep digging this out. This is what I want to do with my life right now. This is this is Minecraft. This is it in a nutshell. This is like you spend like it's like a two to one ratio of resource gathering to using your resources. So there's gonna be mostly resource gathering, I feel. But it's fun because I like resource gathering. I don't have to do it that much though. Most of my resources, I just like my builds. I usually just use what's on hand. So. Let's see, that's our last block here. Let's see what we got. What, what's up here? Oh, what are you hiding from me? Uh, more, more... Oh, there's coal. That's what you're hiding from me. I like that. Okay, let's snag some of this coal here. We're gonna need a new pick. That's okay, because we have plenty of, uh, cobble. We're running out of inventory space, though. Rip. Alright, I'll just get rid of that. And let's get you down... And I should have enough materials to make a... Uh, yeah, there you are. And, uh, there we go. Let's get the rest of this, uh, coal before we go any further. This isn't the most exciting thing to watch, but I like it. So, you can buzz off if you don't like it. Like a fucking bee. And then once we get this, we're gonna keep getting some cobbles on this. Which is what I wanna do. I wanna keep getting some cobbles, though. I hope this was like the thrilling shit you thought I was mentioning when I'm like, I'm gonna do Let's Plays. Like, oh yeah, this is what I want. This is the fucking speed of gameplay I'm looking for. Alright, it's getting night time, so we're getting to go Betty by right after we break the rest of this coal. Oh my god, that's a really big vein. Well, I'm not even that low. I'm at Y equals 52. I'm not getting this big of a vein. Or our coal vein's just always this big, and I'm just like buying into propaganda from, like, old Minecraft. The old Minecraft has so many old wives' tales. Like, do you guys remember, like, or maybe you even still believe this, like, there's, like, one of the earliest things I learned was that, um, sugar cane grows faster on sand than it does on, uh, dirt or grass. That's such an old wives' tale. That was, that's been proven wrong for years. But, uh, that, that was, like, the rule number one of, like, a sugar cane farm. It's, okay, you gotta get your sand, because it'll, like, double your efficiency. It's not true. It's not true at all. And I think that maybe one of those myths was that coal veins are smaller near the top. But I don't know enough about um, veins in order to say that definitively. Because I know that when it comes to, like, gold or diamonds, that it's it's just a randomized number. Uh, there's a certain limit to how large they can get. And there's an average that the, it will tend to lean to. Like, I think that diamond veins actually have the potential to be larger than gold veins, but on average gold veins have more ores than diamond veins. Um, and I think it's just kind of a random number that sort of leans towards a certain outcome. Uh, so, so, but maybe it is dependent on your Y level. I've, I don't know. It's just one of the things you always learn in old Minecraft. It's like, it may be new Minecraft too, I don't know. It's that like the higher you are in the world, the smaller your veins will be. I, th I feel like that's probably not true. I feel like that's an old wives' tale. I don't believe that, actually. I'm, I'm rejecting that notion. Although, in saying that, whenever I go mining, you, you when you find a coal vein, you're digging that baby out for, like, 
Oof, you're digging him out for a while. Although that one I was just digging out for a while too. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how much cobblestone do we have? We need another stack here. So let's uh, let's, let's ditch this flower. I don't want this flower or this one actually. Um, and then we'll have we'll get one more stack of cobble after this, and then we'll uh, head out and uh, you know pursue our dreams. We need some sand too, but I don't really have the inventory space for that, so we're gonna kind of uh, settle down somewhere, clear out my inventory, and then we'll uh, go ahead and focus on figuring out the whole sand situation. I want a couple stacks of uh, glass, I think, for my first little project. I'm a horrible builder, by the way. Um, most of my experience in Minecraft is on the more technical side. Um, I'm not good at it, but I enjoy using redstone, um, and I have a decent knowledge of game mechanics, and that's kind of how I like to play the game. Um, building is a very, very, very big weakness for me, so I'm kind of pushing myself this time, and I kind of have a couple purely aesthetic builds I want to give a shot, and um, the first one I want to try is gonna be greenhouse. I want to build a greenhouse for all my little basic farms we're gonna start with. And uh, I think that that's gonna be a fun... It shouldn't be hard. It's literally a house, but it's just made of glass, right? With a couple of tweaks here and there. I feel like it shouldn't be hard to make a greenhouse. I might look on YouTube for some inspiration, but I um, don't want to just copy YouTube videos in this playthrough. I usually do just copy YouTube videos in my normal worlds. But, uh, you know, I'm, doing the, I'm performing here, right? So I gotta give you, like, this is my brain. Uh, so I might go, like, look for inspiration from somewhere. But um, I'm gonna try and make all these builds my own. And uh, that means the world's gonna look like shit. I hope you're prepared. Um, if you're looking for, like, a good-looking world, this is gonna be shit. But if you are interested in a world that has a lot of very, very high-efficiency farms... Uh, Hi, uh, that'll be this one. <laughs> that's what I that's what I love to do. I like making farms. Um, again, usually I just copy other farms. Uh, I, I but the, the thing with farming is that a lot of the times when you're getting the like the most efficient farms, there's not. I mean, you can put your own twist on it, but there's not much you can do. Like the mechanics are the mechanics, right? So like, if I want to make a berry farm. Uh, you know, the, the mechanics are the mechanics. You know, a fox is going to have to interact with it. And if I want to make, like, the maximum efficiency, I'm going to have to use some variants of the Raiseworks farm. And even if I don't use his exact block-by-block -block layout, uh, you know, um, what am I going to do? Uh, I, it's going to look very similar. It's like, no matter what I do, so... You know, I might not make it as big. I'll, I'll probably make it as big. I'm probably just going to copy the Raiseworks farm for the berries. Like, I can't imagine what other layout I'd use, to be honest. We're getting a lot of blocks here. This is good. This is good for us. We have... Oh my god, we almost have four stacks of cobble. <laughs> I've been not paying attention. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. That's okay. I'm gonna need cobble anyways. I'm not really concerned with it. We'll get this iron, and then we'll uh, head on out. Pack up shop, and we will go find some place to settle down. Alright, break that. Let's go. So, I don't really have any sort of thing in mind when I'm thinking of a, a place to settle down here. Um, just kind of a place that I can build on, maybe slightly flatter, although in saying that I always have enjoyed building my builds into mountains. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, this place isn't the flattest I've ever seen. I say as I like scale a giant fucking mountain, it's not the, it's not the most flat. There's llamas. Oh, that's uh, not a bad area. Let's look at this. Or are those alpacas? I don't know. What, what alpacas. They should add alpacas to Minecraft, actually. I think that'd be... I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but... You know, it's a good look. Uh, lava pit here, I'm guessing? Yes. Uh, Alright. Um, some horses. This is not a bad area. There's some animals spawning here. Uh, we got the plains biome. Uh, plains is bad because pillager... Oh, shit! I need to install PT tools. Because I... Here's the thing with with Minecraft, right? I need a data pack on here. I, I, do, I usually like playing just vanilla, but there's one data pack I need to have to make the game playable. And that is um, Zuma Void's uh, PT tools. And what that is, is... Um, the, that's a, a pillager mechanic. So the new pillager thing that came out in 114. Um, you can find raids and, like, little... Or you can find little 
raiding parties, and then if you kill them, if you go to a village, you'll get, like, a massive raid full of, like, hordes and hordes of mobs. The problem is that the way I play Minecraft, I make little villages, like, all throughout my base. So if I kill one of those raid leaders, it's going to be an endless raid, because I can't walk anywhere around my stuff without being around a village. So it's going to be a mess. Just mechanically, I kind of create villages. Um, so that's, that's a huge fucking mess. And, um, they have a, a command in here, the game rule, um, disable raids. And the thing with disable raids is I don't want to disable raids. I still want to farm raids and I still want to use them. So I don't want to disable them. I just need to make it so that the patrols that walk around, um, don't have the patrol leader. And if you kill the patrol leader, that's when you get the, the effects that causes raids. So what I want to do is install that data pack. Because that data pack is basically that command that you can tweak a little bit. You can disable raids um, completely. You can disable the patrols completely. And I don't want to do that either. All I want to do is just remove the leader. And you can do that too. You can just... You can still have the patrols that walk around with like five pillagers. But all it'll do is remove the one pillager that if you kill him, it'll start a raid. So um, that's what I need. I just need to remove that one raid-causing pillager, because otherwise this game's going to be totally unplayable the way that I do it. Uh, so there's... Oh, eggs! Good, good eggs. Good eggs. I want those. Oh, I can't do that yet. Um, I don't need that one. I don't need that one. Uh, let's see. Do you have any more eggs for me, you guys? Um, I'm probably going to hang around here, because they... Uh, it takes... Hard, eggs are hard to get if you're just wandering, like, nomadically. Because eggs don't start uh, being laid by chickens until they've been in the world for five minutes. So if you're just wandering around, you're never going to find eggs. Um, of course, we were just over there digging and digging and digging our uh, our um, little cobblestone out. So while we were digging our cobblestone, these chickens were just over here preparing their eggs for us in such a gracious way. So um, I'm kind of leaning towards this. Uh, but maybe that flower for I don't want to do the flower for this thing. I, I kind of don't like this place. Oh, is that a village? Way over yonder that I spy. I don't have... We're going to have to explore that. Oh, that's a tree. Okay, I thought that was a house. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, ooh, skeleton. I'm not ready for enemies yet. Oof, where was that? Oof. Oof, I don't like that. More flower forest. I kind of want to preserve the flower forest a little bit. And I will exploit it for a flower farm later on. But um, for the time being... I kind of want to keep that going. There's floating grass. Look at that guy. Um, so maybe we want to lay down our roots. Let's see here. Uh, maybe over... Why? Why are you making me think I'm in a cave? I am not in a cave. I'm in a forest. Okay, uh, God, I've never struggled finding a base. Usually I just, like, start building somewhere. I don't know, how about, uh, how about this over here? We're right on this grass block. This will be it. This is it. Our, we're planting our flag. We're planting our andesite flag. Right there. So, uh, what do we need to do? We need to... Uh, make a little home base for now. Um, let's see, we need some chests for sure. We'll uh, do a little bit of... Let's see, that'll be a double chest. I think a double chest is all we need right now, honestly. So let's uh, find chests. There we go. Let's lay that down. Let's get our bed out. And slap that down as well. We'll put that, like, right here, I guess. And uh, next thing we need is we need a furnace for sure. We need to make that. Uh, let's get a uh, furnace. And let's get two furnaces because I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty pretty lucky today. Which means we'll destroy this andesite and this grass block. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. We decided not to have that. Like that and uh, we'll sleep. Hey sheep, how's it going, sheep? Alright, so what do we want to do? We want to put our uh, cobblestone. That's what we want to do. Let's put our cobblestone right in there. That's not uh, as much of my inventory as I thought would get cleared out. That's okay. Uh, in the meantime, we have some coal. Let's, we'll do a uh, half stack in each of these. Uh, we'll cook some iron as well, I think. We'll uh, put two coal in there. 
that. No, no, we have some eggs. That, dirt, that, 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 that. Oh shit, we have meat too. Let's uh, let's cook our. Pork. We need our coal out again. I want to keep half a stack in here. We'll do one for the pork and then one for the mutton, and then we'll put the mutton in straight off. Yeah, I'm just keeping mental inventory of all the items I have. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. We're doing well. I just need to take this out. Put that in. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll start eating meat. Or we won't. I don't want to. Alright, so that'll do it for this one. That was very boring, actually. But next time, we're going to go get sand. And it'll also be boring. So I hope that you are excited, uh, as I am. And I'm very excited. So thank you for uh, being excited. Mm -hmm.